Que paso, panditos? Peter Von Panda here with a sterling watch. I uh, just ordered it, um, as you've seen in some of my other sterling videos. comes in this long orange box here. It is, uh, and it comes in uh, a pretty nice packaging. It's pretty standard for sterling watches. Um, but this one is a men's, that's... Well, I show it to you instead of just uh, holding it outside the range of the camera. Um, original 395.33U16 Aqua Diver Regatta Champion Professional uh, Watch. It, it's uh, stainless steel. Um, I'll try to try to not waste your time with too much of the uh, unpackaging, but it is wrapped. Uh, first things, it's first it has a uh, deployment clasp with a uh, um, uh, additional safety release there. It looks like it has, or it does not have a diver extension, so it would be like another very short deployment clasp for true divers watches that would give you oh, maybe another inch or so of uh, additional bandwidth to put over a wetsuit. But uh, this is a pretty nice uh, release uh, clasp here. It comes wrapped in some pretty heavy duty um, plastic wrap. And why don't I get this off? And okay, kids, I uh, got the plastic off. Man, it's uh, pretty impressive how they put that sucker on there. But again, this is a the, the Sterling Classic Divers Watch. It comes in a variety of colors. Uh, the typical ones will uh, will be a black black dial with uh, a red bezel or black dial with a green bezel. This is both the blue dial and the blue bezel. And as you can see, this is really a kind of a classic style diver's watch. It's got a, a little bit of uh, a slope to that uh, the on the bezel here. It's a flat crystal. Um, it is a unidirectional ratcheting crystal. Uh, bezel so you can see here it does move around clicks pretty nicely it's got a nice uh, stiff um, movement to it and the, one of the cool things about uh, sterling watches is that you get a lot of quality for your money um, and they also did not reinvent the divers watch uh, here so this to me actually looks a little bit like a cross between an Omega Seamaster and a Rolex Submariner so you get a lot of style in it without um, without paying a lot of money and my guess is you probably won't dive with the sucker but it certainly says uh, water resistant to 200 meters right there on the uh, the dial itself so so that's pretty good uh, I'm taking a quick look at the crown here and it says that this sucker is and uh, sorry for the focus, but there we go. It says it is basically a 42 millimeter case. So not a very big watch by any means. Like I said, uh, pretty standard um, stainless steel um, band. And I'll just throw it on here. I have uh, a little bit, I have a pretty average wrist, maybe just a smidge on the large size, uh, large end. But this would be a very... Um, uh, a good watch to wear day to day. It's it looks pretty professional. It's pretty uh, pretty uh, formal. It's a nice classic style. Uh, but you could also it also would pass for those casual days on the beach or on the golf course. It has a brushed outer portion of the uh, the stainless steel band and a polished. Um, the polished pieces go through the middle, so it gives a nice little contrast to the uh, band itself, so that's pretty nice. And the other thing I've noticed is it's got pretty good weight to it, so, um, and there, there are two pushers on the side of the release clasp here, so it doesn't just pry up, it actually has pushers, which is also kind of a nice feature in this price point. Um, the, the dial itself does not appear to have any... Um, uh, texture. It's just a very flat metallic finish. It's got, you can see it reflecting there. And then, like I said, the bezel too has uh, just about that same kind of anodized aluminum blue. There are some serrations here on the, the, the outer bezel so you can get a nice firm grip. And the crown, presumably, is 
screw down. There it is. Pops out. Sorry, I'm going to lose the camera. Pops out. And first position changes the date, as you can see at the uh, 430 position there. And second position will change the time. So, um, pretty nice little watch. Everything screws together pretty nicely. The hacking seconds hand. Uh, polished, wide, hour and minute hands. The, um, the numbers, Arabic numbers and hour markers are very right large. I wanted to quick see if the uh, watch had loom. And as you can see, it does. So just uh, hold it up to the light for a few seconds and uh, everything is uh, pretty nice and bright there. So uh, good loom on that watch. Sterling calls it a Cristerna crystal on the front and a decorated case back on the back. So it's got uh, the uh, Sterling logo etched in the back with waves showing you divers watching. You can see there at the very top, Cristerna crystal. Uh, assume that's uh, some sort of... Uh, enhanced mineral crystal or branded mineral crystal and again like i said a lot of style a lot of watch for only about 60 bucks uh as you know sterling puts kind of high retail prices on it 325 dollars but you can um, easily find them all over the web for from far less than that but if you like that diver was watch style and you like that kind of traditional uh look with uh, a variety of colors check it out Sterling Original Men's 395.33U16 Quartz Watch, 60 bucks, classic style, at bargain basement prices. Panda out.